with somebody who does not like being held. I'm going to start by acknowledging that I am covered in cat hair and move on from there. Now that I've woke him up to bring him over here, he's probably going to go right at the door and demand to go outside. Yes. Sorry to disturb you, Chip. And floof, I'm going to do something I don't usually do and move the camera. Let's see. Floof is very happy on the dresser that I take my doll photos on, which she cannot get to on her own because she's not a jumping kitty. Alright, and I noticed that I knocked the um, tripod, because of course I did. Alright, I think that looks fairly straight. Alright. Back to dressing dolls. Okay, so. I'm going to start with this guy. This is a... Um, I think it's a Volk's head that John Dolljunk painted ages ago. Please don't sharpen your claws. And um, this is a shirt that Cosmo made and I'm going to swap it out for one of the shirts that I made with that cat print from the sleeve. Hold on. And um, probably going to leave this pants on because I think I custom made these pants for this body which is a Hasbro Disney Descendants guy body. I might change his shoes though because I'm not so sure if the uh, sandals, the old 1990s knockoff Tevas. Do you even know what Tevas are? I lived through the 90s and remember Tevas and I know that that's exactly what these sandals are supposed to be. Tevas. Anyway, not so suitable with this long sleeve knit shirt that the cats are on. And the child is out there talking to one of his friends, so he's kind of loud, so apologies if you can hear him. Hey, uh, they're of that age where things are funnier if they're louder. All right, so this again, this is the what you looking at, Floof? This is the extended shoulder shirt for Curvy and Ken pattern that I shared with a knit band made of the same fabric, what floof, for the neck neck finishing, which is, like I said, I really need to um, see if that works when the rest of the shirt is made of a woven, because that is a really easy way to finish a neckline, and it tends to look pretty good. All right, but he wants, he wants more shoes. You want down floof? Yeah. Is that what you wanted? That's what you got. Then you went out. She did want out. All right. Shoes for the dude. She's probably gonna feel like he needs socks too. Let's see. Has his shoe, well, I mean, they're definitely Ken size feet, so he doesn't need super huge action figure shoes, but he can use smaller stuff. I'm pretty sure I have Descendants shoes around here, Descendants dude shoes around here somewhere, too. I mean, these are a lot bigger than his foot, but I could go with these old action figure 
unlicensed Nikes. But they're um they're really big compared to his tiny can size feet. So that's not gonna be my first choice. Wow, those are big for Ken shoes. How much bigger they are than his feet. Alright, so that's not even my box of Ken shoes. That's my box of better shoes. Coats around better. Let's see. I also have this pair of navy or darker blue fake Tevas. Let's see. Those are. Flavis shoes, they might be too small. The Flavis guys have pretty small feet. Yeah, those are pink. Big old action figure. Slide sandals. When I say big, I'm big. And I guess I mean old because they're from the early 2000s. I think these are fashionistas Ken shoes. Pants pretty slim fit. Maybe. These are the shoes that came on this body. They are actually differentiated right and left. I might just go with those since there's no need to fight with the cuff of the pants. Or I could do, I could do the kitten shoes, but look how much bigger. I guess they're not that much bigger. See, those are actually right left. Maybe. Eh. I think the way, if I recall correctly, these shoes are sculpted so they look like they're on the <coughs> wrong foot, no matter which foot they're on. Even though they're a, they're a little formal, I'm still going to go with the original shoes that came on this body. I know I've mentioned that I need to get a, another one of these boxes. They're pretty stuffed. So, just a shirt and shoe swap. And there's this guy. And then this doll. She's been sitting around. Oh, this is also Disney Descendants body. She's been sitting around with nothing on because she really needs a reroute. Possibly fuller with definitely the better fiber quality. This is a head from a vintage Hawaii souvenir doll that I thrifted. The body was completely static vinyl and really weirdly sculpted. And the first thing I want to do is find a better body for it. Well, it took a few years to find for uh, this body to be released. I need to also do what John has done with Disney Descendants body, which is cut the feet off and put smaller feet in so she has more shoe options. But let me see what you can do with her today. So I have another thing I made with that cat and crossbone print. Descendants bodies have hands that come off. Of course I'm trying to hurry, which is making me fumble. Alright. I think I made this with the yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm I um I showed you last time floof. 
that I sort of improvised a 60 centimeter doll size version of the extended shoulder shirt pattern that I shared. Well, I also improvised a Blythe size version, and that's what this particular shirt is. Well, I tended to be Blythe. It actually fits Blythe and Barbie. Roomy and Blythe. Not as roomy and Barbie in this body, so in the middle. And then this is a skirt I made just from the last scraps of this cloth. It's not a well-refined re shirt. This fabric is from Fantastic Creation, the Cosmo Synth the Fancy Elastic. And I did not intend these to go together, but when I had the pile of stuff, when I was sorting through them, they were next to each other. I thought, well, maybe they could work together, so we're going to see. Oh, maybe though, hold on, is it actually available or is something else? I am digging into my, put that aside so I don't lose that one, digging into my bag of cardigans. Oh, there it is, is it the right color? It's pretty close. Alright, I don't need to use the sock because again, hands come out. I'm not even sure how this is going to fit this body. What the color's right. Hold on. You ever just suddenly realize you need to put on some lip balm? Or is that just me? Let's see. It's going to be some bulk because of the way the sleeves work on this shirt. And of course it's not a perfect match for the skirt, but considering something I bought kind of randomly a few years ago and something I made from something that someone else gave me from something they bought, it's pretty good. Alright, do I have any hats that can work with that? And I'm also kind of clueless about what shoe she's going to wear. I'm assuming the bigger doll foot, bigger foot doll shoes will work, but the descendants have a weird size feet. <laughs> Her head's a little small. Which means this creative world hat will completely. Completely engulf her. Did I finish that thought inside my head? I don't think I did. Right. This is a sock hat James made. It's also pretty close to the right color, but I know it's way too big for this head on them. It's kind of cute. As you know, blue is not one of my Go to colors. Entirely wrong color blue. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a hat offhand. This is something James sent at. I might be bringing too many colors in. Alright, I'm going to skip to shoes. I think Monster High shoes have a chance of fitting this body. Yeah. 
how about, um, what's this, uh, the Mattel dolls that were released and then forgotten about, the, uh, JC and Wild Hearts. Let's see, the angle of the heel is wrong. And of course, a very strappy sandal doesn't go with the cardigan, but, um, Sometimes you get desperate with these dolls with odd sized feet. Okay. Now, this is a wet hard screw foot shoe. Well, whose shoes are these? Or are these Monster High? Like little sister shoes. They just have no theme to them. If there's no theme to Monster High, then I'm kind of lost. If you don't know, that was one of the things I actually never liked about Monster High was that there was nothing generic. It was all so highly specific. Meanwhile, as a kid, I always thought it was the best, best thing to like get the shoe I liked in as many different colors as possible. So a lot of different dolls to live. Might coordinate with the fittings too. Oh, um. DC Superior Girl Frost Shoes. If the blue was a better match, I might um, figure out how to make them work, but it's not a great match. Wrestling arrow. in the old black wrestling shoes, eh? So that's one style. This is... Okay, that's the one with the laces. Okay, this is that style. And just for completion, this sake was it the laces. There's it the laces. Also designed in a way where they both kind of look like they're on the wrong foot. <laughs> they, visually, I mean, they fit, and if I get desperate the word, but visually I feel like it's like a little tiny head up to huge sh shoes. And I'm not sure I can look at that. or coordinating or fitting. other 
shoebox that fit this body. And do I have another? No, I have some other bodies with big feet. I do plan to try to dress today. Yeah, nothing anywhere near the right color. So, okay, yeah. So we'll stick with that. Let's see, unless I'm going to do... how Bratzilla's shoes will work on this foot. Probably not well. Bratzilla's had weird feet, too. It's okay, but her heel is hanging out the back. So, no, it's not. Okay, Dusty's shoes. So super strappy. Alright, we're going back with these. Okay, let me close this up and accidentally knock it down. Don't think there's anything else I can really do with her hair. Because again, it is a terrible fiber and not too generously attached. Just hear how terrible that sounds. That is not a smooth fiber. been a few years since I, oh, I'm tucking up big chunks of it. Probably been a few years since I actually did brush this doll's hair last because she's just been in the bottom of a box waiting for me to be inclined to give her new hair. Which I have no idea what color new hair I would give her if I do. I don't know if I'm going to just give her proper, nice, silky black hair. Because she is cute with black hair, or if I'll give her fantasy hair, because it's me. And she originally had plastic flowers stuck on the side of the head. If you can see that big hole inside her head, the plastic flower was stuck into. Old elastic. All right, so since that elastic broke, I guess I won't put her hair back up in elastic. down where it does look relatively cute as long as you don't look too close and realize how many bolt spots she has. So, Someday I'll figure out how to get things centered. At least I have the view screen out so I can see it. Alright, that's doll two. Next on the pile is this Hasbro 1982 or 1983 Fashions by Me head on um, the collector Barbie Kirby body. And I have this shirt I made from the dolman sleeve shirt pattern that I shared. And the cloth is something that Cosmo sent because it is way, way, way trendier than anything that I would be inclined to buy. And I'll probably leave these shoes on her because slightly bigger feet, not a lot of um, options. We'll see. These shoes are from a Mad Mag Center Space Pop. Alright, where's my pile of, my pile of warm clothes? Alright, so let's see how this shirt looks on her and what will be suitable or skirt or what have you. She also has a tiny clip in her hair. Probably the only reason I still have so many of those tiny clips 
is because I've been fairly hesitant to use them for so long because I didn't want them to break because they are so precious because they are so small and so unusual but if you never use them what's the point of having them? Come on where'd your hand go? <laughs> I can feel it stuck behind the seam allowance on the sleeve end. If this were made out of something sparkly, sparkly is simultaneously neutral, drab, and brown, it would actually coordinate well with the original era in which this doll is made. That time after disco was destroyed, but before New Wave took over in the early 80s. I remember that time, it was very brown, but sparkly. Hold on. Had an itchy eye, I'm not going to subject you to seeing me scratch my eye. <laughs> the video. All right, now where is my bag of bottoms for Kirby? Here's my bag of bottoms for Kirby. Okay. That's not the right color at all, but we'll try that for start. Oh yeah, I made the line skirt really to go over the uh, bodysuit, so that's pretty generous. Actually, this might not have been my A-line pattern that I shared. This might have been the skirt I made that made me decide that I would share, would create a pattern to share. I mean, it kind of works. Let's see, what else do I have? Cosmo makeup, Barbie jeans. Let me where you go. Sticking with the early 80s post-disco, pre-new wave kind of fashion. You know, I know when most younger people think of 1980s clothes, they think of bright, bright colors, loads of denim, maybe if you're thinking of late 80s, ripped jeans and distressed jeans, but there was an era from the late 70s into the early 80s when country chic and lots of ruffles were trendy. Which again, formative era of my youth. I just barely remember it, but I do remember it. Hound's tooth. Oh wait, so I'm looking at this in through here and thinking, you know, I would like something neutral. And almost everything that I have made for this size is printed. This could work. I might try this on too. Pattern mixing also. Slightly hearkening back to the early 80s, although if it were really that period of the early 80s, these would be proper knickers and not just generous pants with cuffs. And this is one of my earlier pairs so that doesn't actually fit right in the early pairs when I was developing the um, pattern that I shared for these pleated front crop pants. High waist pleated front crop pants. Something like that's what I call them. I'm just trying to speak so I don't spend like minutes and minutes of silence going to my dolls. I know some people appreciate the information that I share, which makes me feel better about just babbling constantly. He doesn't actually play among us but all of his friends know about Among Us, so they make references to Among Us a lot in their games, I've noticed. So let me try this. This 
salsa, I think it was early and doesn't fit right. But the color might be closer. And I hope you could actually hear him talking and screaming and you didn't think that my bringing up Among Us was just out of nowhere. Actually, you know what? That's not a combination I ever actually thought I would do, but I'm going to go with this, which is my dolman sleeve shirt for Kirby and my high waist pleat front cuffed cropped trousers for Kirby. Because it, both of them, like I said, the shapes and kind of the color of the pants just go together to be so early 80s when this doll's head was made. And I am going to leave those shoes on, just because the color is close enough to the shirt, I think it'll work. And the shoes like this have been hovering on the edge of fashion for ages, so it's also slightly hearkening to the kind of early 70s look, or early 80s look. I mean, I know I don't need to pose her to show off the sleeves, but... Does she need a necklace? Let's see if I can have a necklace. A small necklace. So there's another one. It works nicely as long as it doesn't get caught under the edge of her collar and flipped up in a weird direction. And I'm obviously leaving her hair. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Should I restyle her hair? Maybe I will. Clip was purely for appearance. I don't know if you can also hear. I can hear the uh, YouTube videos he's playing on the television, which sometimes he actually watches. Usually, he just plays them for background noise. But no one else watches the TV. And it's also actually very nice to know what exactly he's watching, so there's no surprises about him learning weird things. And most of the people that he picks out to watch, actually everyone he's picked out to watch, some of them have been supremely annoying, but none of them seem to have um, ideas that we don't agree with, like some famous YouTubers have. As you can hear, it's maybe not the best fiber. <laughs> I'm not the expert with doll hair. I've read enough of uh, Tiffy and Safi's advice on how to judge, grade, handle, and fix doll hair. And I, uh, I could apply it if needed, but I generally don't. Bigger than I re remembered too. Alright, it's fluffy hair. Okay, now let me put this elastic away. Yes, I uh I keep pretty good track of my doll hair elastics. And I've been doing so ever since um What was that Barbie with the Everflex waist and all the past the crop pastel vinyl jacket and these jewels that you're supposed to stick on her? Well, I obviously never opened the jewels and just immediately started storing 
the little elastic bands, the clear elastic bands that come on the packages. Start storing them on that right away, so I need to go through my elastic maroon band box and pull out all the stuff that has not survived the years. There I go, put this tiny clip in. It's, the band matches, but it doesn't really fit. It's just a little small for her big Hasbro head. Okay. Who's next? All right, we have Kenner Darcy head that I took all the original hair out of, sewed the fake fur on. This isn't a wig. This is actually attached to her head with sewing thread. Um, I painted over her eyes to be side glance, I gave her some blush, also to be brown eyes, because... And I gave her some blush, and I ended up... She bounced around on several different Barbie, articulated Barbie bodies, because I wanted to have articulation. In the original, Darcy body is great, but the articulation is not, and neither is the tendency of the brass rivets inside the joints to vertigree degree and turn the whole arm and leg green. So after bouncing around Barbie bodies for a while, I actually eventually put her on one of these wrestler bodies and did some... It's a little stylized, but the big feet balance out the big head, I think. So here we are. And the only thing I have picked out for her so far is this shirt I made. Doll here stuck to it. From some of the cloth that Cosmo sent. And this is the same shirt pattern I used for this but I slid this one away from the center fold so it would be wider. I can't remember why I decided I should do that. I think maybe just because that's how much of this cloth I had left and I wanted to use it. That sounds like something I'd do. All right, put her shoes here, may or may not. Go back to them, put the socks again, may or may not. Go back to them because these blue stripe socks are kind of cute with that. All right, don't want to lose these bracelets, so let me get these bracelets off into the bracelet part of the bin. Okay. Yeah. She also has a clip. Metal hair clip. I think actually is doing something. I mean holding hair away and not just in there for decoration. not sure. I think I have this pattern in my queue for patterns to share, but I can't remember. Yes. Most of the plastic bags I'm storing things in are falling apart, but until they completely fall apart, they work. Alright, I hope I can actually get the hands through these sleeves. I think I tested and I could. Not very hard at all, actually. Itches that you don't want to see. Me scratching. Alright, so, um, because I made this so wide, it sits under kind of weird. Can I actually... Okay, maybe I'll do that. Off the shoulder. All right, now she needs something to go on her bottom. Where is the bag of pants? 
that short, so short sleeves. That shares with long sleeves. That's less formal dresses. Alright, there's pants. Pants and shorts. Not skirts, pants and shorts. But on top is this pair of shorts that Cosmo sent that he made. I have no idea how it will fit the rest of their body. If at all. It's squeaking on. Cute, but not quite fitting. Still, I might come back to that. Because that's about the color. That color works well. A pair of ugly old Barbie shorts. I'm being quiet again, aren't I? Ugly old Barbie shorts. These are from like the late 90s, early 2000s, back when Barbie clothes were actually easy to find. Mattel made Barbie clothes and you could walk into the Barbie aisle and find a whole bunch of Barbie clothes sold separately in varying levels of quality. These are some of the cheap ones. Which still, they're a poly cotton woven, so that's still a little higher quality than you're going to find it these days. Integrity. It's always too small for Mattel stuff. I'll try that, maybe. Yes, I know you would like to get into this bag and look around too. Like I said, someday maybe I will dump everything out and show you. Depends on how desperate I am for video content. These are made for female action figure size, so they're actually too small for Kirby, but way too big for regular Barbie size. Of course we have these vintage Barbie from the designer jean part of the early 80s. Fashionista shorts. This room, I don't know if you just heard that, this room is right under the unit for the air conditioner is like right above there. So when the air conditioner is running, this whole room shakes. And it's just hot enough today for the air conditioner to kick in. In a few days, it's going to go back to being in the 70s and then maybe even have a few days where the highs in the 60s, which would be nice. I like to leave the windows open all day and all night then. Might go with these Barbie shorts, just because I want her to be kind of casual. So you know, casual's not really something I do well. Alright, so... I don't know if I'll give her those socks back. Probably not. I don't think I'm going to put her in the pumps, but I am going to put these big pumps into the nice big shoe box just because they'll fit. The things that go into the bag down there are generally boots and stuff that would have no hope of fitting into one of these boxes. This is from the Haramika. Um, Haramika mannequin dolls that Bandai sold 
in the U.S. a few years ago. He would fit if not for that heel. Look at that horrible heel. Maybe it should be this long. This long. Still, it might work. It's a little, um, not quite the style of casual I was thinking of. These are from the Endless Hair Kingdom 17 inch dolls. I think I cut a whole bunch of the. I think the ribbons really originally were like strappy all over the place and I cut those off to make a sandal. Maybe. Of course, my problem is that they're high heel feet because you know I'd be perfectly happy to give her some of these flats. Alright, time to dig into. That's a bag. Of course, these are all like way more aggressive. You know, the rest of the outfit's really sweet. But I guess they look pretty big on the dolls they're supposed to go on, too, don't they? Great hesitation. Right, these are from the DC girls, pure girls. Too bulky. Okay. If they weren't bright red, DC superhero girls, supergirl. Girl boots. Not the one boots. I don't know, maybe she would end up back in those original one. Saying maybe she will end up back in the original pumps, even though pumps are super duper not what this outfit calls for. Okay, maybe nothing from here after all. I know I have cut some of these, one of them grieved down in two singles. I think they're being worn right now. Let me put her little socks back on. Because like I said, I do like the uh, contrast of these socks. With the print on the shirt. Although, if I go with those silver Hermica shoes, I could do these old King State Tyler or Jean size shoes. Of the age where the vinyl is disintegrating every time you touch it. Actually, I might go with that. I mean, I really think I would rather have something. Some like tennis shoe, sports shoe kind of shoe for it. This. Well, maybe not. 
have something as bulky as this. This is a keychain from Claire's in the long ago. Back when a lot of shoes this size were being sold specifically for the life. Because if. I've been babbling lately about how manufacturing processes have changed. So once upon a time, this was about as small a uh, fully formed sewn cloth and vinyl shoe as you could get. And now they can make them smaller. shoes I got around the time is the vinyl's also falling apart on them. It's a little pair of XT boots. Disintegrating before my eyes. And I could go back to the pumps, the socks, that makes it a little less um, club ready. I think these are Hasbro shoesies, which if you don't know what those are, when um, tech decks got popular, they were considered a boy, boy toy. You know, tech decks are little skateboards that you would skate around on with your fingers. And Hasbro says, well, that's for boys. Let's make shoesies. They're shoes for your fingers. And that's what they marketed for little girls. But they happen to also just fit a bunch of female action figures that were available at the time. So... Several of us back then bought shoesies, and then when shoesies got discontinued, for some surprising reason, we were on and bought a bunch on clearance. So yeah, this style is incredibly early 2000, but... Look at that. But it's an option for shoes for dolls with larger size feet, even though they were never meant to be shoes for any doll, because Hasbro. So the question. Glam it up with Haramika shoes. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go with the Haramika shoes. I don't have a lot of purses. I have a bag for purses. I don't have a lot of purses I use consistently. I have made very few purses, and I think that's a big. For whatever reason, that's something that keeps me from using purses a lot. Not that I'm a snob and prefer to use things that I've made, it's just because I don't think about making them. I don't think about using them. Alright, speaking of something else that's very, very 90s, is the bag. Generation Girl Lara had that. And these were so trendy in the late 90s. Even though this is pretty terrible looking. At the time when Generation Girls released, you knew immediately what that was supposed to be. How long have I been babbling? Oh, no! What? Mom, you're 
55 minutes already and I have three more dolls? Okay, um... Okay, one of them is a shirt change only. So... Hmm, what will through this doll? One of the few purses I made. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do simple. Alright, so there's modified Darcy Cowgirl. And then I said just one is just a shirt. That's this Young Sweethearts Michael on his original body. This was, if you don't know about Young Sweethearts. Mattel in the 70s released two fully articulated dolls in a single set, Michael and Melinda, the Young Sweethearts. And those bodies pretty much turned into the gymnast Barbie and Ken bodies by way of the Spectra doll bodies. But they, like, to use a popular word, nerfed the articulation quite a bit in that process of change. Because these originals had torsos, and wrists, and ankles. They still had bending only knees, they kept that for the, um, for the gymnast dolls, and like the Ken, gymnast Ken waist stayed like this until they modified them in the late 90s, I think. And this guy, I actually got my Young Sweethearts Michael and Melinda dolls mint in box off of eBay a few years ago and he was packed with his foot at an angle and I still haven't gotten around to boiling that to see if I can get his foot to straighten out. But anyway, here's a shirt I made that I'm going to see how it fits him. And I'm going to be lazing the pants on. Pretty sure I custom made these pants for him too because he does have that weird skinny, skinny gymnast can body. Skinny gymnast can body. Oh yeah, the neck articulation is also very different from what they ended up being. Of course, everything inside the body is held together with thick black rubber bands. Like specially molded shapes of rubber. If you've ever taken apart an old gymnast Barbie body and seen the way the hips are strung by this thing that customized you should call like a rubber dog bone. That's like the entire inside of this body. So, he flops. Alright. He also has those super broad shoulders that gymnasts can inherited. I think I might actually have made this shirt from the pattern for 15 inch dolls thinking I would put it on um, Tulabel, but then I looked at it and said, no wait, that's Ken size. So here we are. All right, two more. Let's take Norti. This is a Disney store Brave Queen Eleanor head that I cut off all of the hair, put on a Monster High Create a Monster wig, and painted over her eyes to be side glance and sparkling, and gave her some blush. She bounced around a few bodies. This is an older articulated fashionista's body. I'm trying to figure out how to get this, um, <laughs> this uh, pair of goggles off of her without taking her wig off, which I'm not sure. All right. That didn't destroy her hair as much as I thought it would. Alright. Goggles. These are either like Bratz Boys or Mycene Guy glasses that I cut the sides off of, drilled a hole in what was left, and threaded the elastic through to make goggles. I used to be kind of obsessed with doll goggles. Back in the early 2000s. Boots. This is the jumpsuit pattern that I shared a few years ago, also. 
And I think this one I was the one that I experimented with to see if you could make smaller seam allowances if it would pick curvy, and it does. But it's just loose and baggy on a non-curvy furry body. Okay, this is cloth that Cosmo sent. I used the <laughs> pattern that I shared for the sweatshirt, raglan sleeve sweatshirt, and I just, sorry, just fuzz, and I just extended it. The, the length was just dictated by how much fabric there was left. Floppy wrists. It's always the most infuriating thing about dressing this particular body is when the wrists flop around inside the sleeves. You're not quite sure what they're doing besides being annoying. Either you know what I'm talking about, or you're just <laughs> side-eyeing me and saying what. This print also glows in the dark. You take my word on that. Okay. So. I think she needs some leggings. She needs these. Silver little bit of leggings I thrifted years ago. And the noisy rattling air conditioner's on again. At least it makes it kind of hard to hear all the sound from the living room. not planned this combination. I'd actually kind of forgotten about having these leggings until I found them. I was looking for the other pants, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with them. We're going to do the blue Bermuda rockers. Leggings I made, pattern I shared. Or orange. Orange Barbie and the Rockers. Or wait, 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 I know what I want. Where are they? Or have I used them all? No, there they are. Of course, everyone has a million made to move black leggings. Part of the reason I want to take these off is because the Barbie hips are just a bit wider than the Molly hips and I don't want to stress the fabric. Cat hair on my nose. This shirt's a lot longer than I thought it would be. And see, to make it very 80s, you'd put a belt on it and blouse it up over the belt. Or do I just want to put a long skirt under there? I don't think I do. Where's my bag of skirts? Not that shirts. That's other shirts. There are skirts. Let's see. Is anything jumping out as being neutral enough to work? Or do I just want to go? That would barely be visible. It's 
broke those fit. This was a quick leg Barbie. I don't think it would. Well, it would have taken me an hour to get those on the body. It's quick leg hips are bigger, aren't they? So they might not have fit at all. Yeah. Basically what I'm dealing with is this turned out longer than I expected it would be, this shirt. So, maybe it doesn't need to be layered. Maybe just put a pair of tights on and go. Very strangely made in Barbie skirt that I've still kept around for years. the idea of a skirt under it this time. Down, down to the box. Alright. Do I want to keep the neutral like gray theme or do I want to contrast or sparkle? I'm sorry, could you hear that or was I mumbling again? Murmuring. Eh, good enough, alright, let's find some... Or do I want to do layers? <laughs> layers some socks on over those. Neutrals and Barbie size. There's also a bin of random doll size shoes that have no one very like these are Stacy Polly Pocket size. Anyway, mostly neutral shoe box. How about that? I don't think this will fit. Also, it's made for flat foot. Yeah, I know these are crazy little we'll shoes. But that might be more what my brain was envisioning. In which case, I will go back for those socks. And 
I'm going to be so confident that I'm going to go ahead and put the hosiery box away. It's going to be buried under everything else spot before I even put these socks on here. Because if I'm anything, I am overconfident. You know that, don't you? I'm pretty sure you do. I mentioned, I know I mentioned last one of these videos, I made that I recently cut my fingernails and now I can't pick anything up. Alright, I want to try something and it probably won't work because even though it was enormous in the last doll I tried it on, between her large Disney store head and her Monster High wig, it's going to be too small. And I do have witch hats that I made. I feel sneeze coming on. Hold on. I'm going to try to fight it. I do have witch hats that I made that would um, work as far as fitting goes, but they're not the right theme by long shot. Yeah. That would be cute, except for the... Uh... Oh, it's not leopard print. It's tiger print. I don't know what doll that was originally from. Someone gave it to me. For some reason, I want to say it was the new Holly Hobby dolls. I don't know, but there's actually something inside the room to give it shape, which is a nice touch. You don't get in doll clothes too often. Alright, I don't have any big gray hats. else to layer on the top. I don't think I do. I don't have a lot of neutral stuff. That's blue more than neutral. I mean, yes, we discussed this lovely little cardigan the other day, but that's not what I mean. Neutral and the cool gray kind of sense. Palest, palest black. I do have palest, palest purple sweater. I know I do, but I think someone's wearing it. Because these tights are pale purple, even though they look very um, white against everything else. Alright, I'm over an hour, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and say that's enough for Narky. May or may not fiddle around and add more later, but here she is. Camera doesn't think that's a face. Okay, last doll. Is this um, super duper ultra hybrid. This is a face off of a dress me doll. Used to have sleep eyes, but right now the neck connector for the body she's on is jabbed up in there and keeping the eyes open with... Um, hair I glued on made of brushed yarn and her body is this hybrid I did the hard way of uh, it's a project MC squared torso and I uh, I cut it apart and then cut a fashionista's apart and used acetone goop and epoxy putty to glue those parts together or cement more than glue and then I gave her a little extra butt because the Barbie butt is very flat compared to the Project MC squared curve back curve with epoxy putty and 
And after I did this, somebody said, well, you know, you can also just string the Barbie legs directly on the Project MC squared body. Like, oh. And I did that later and sent that doll off to someone else. So I have this, if you recall, that I put one of the 60 centimeter dolls and something else made from this, and it's sheer, slightly. So <laughs> the weight is knit. I knew it would be a nightmare to put on a doll whose hands couldn't come off. So that's why I chose this doll with her Project M. She squared articulated body with removable hands. I'm not sure how sheer it's going to be if I'm going to need to put some other clothes underneath. Or if these sleeves are going to end up being incredibly long. Honestly, I might have made this or cut it out with Tula Bell in mind as well since her arms also come off. But I was working with very limited amounts of this. And for these sleeves to go into that body, they're going to have to stretch a lot, which is not a good look or feeling in a sweater, so... Alright, yeah, she needs something to wear under this. Let's see... I know the top of this body is small enough for my, like, Blythe and Francie size and pull-up size clothes. Oh, wait, where it is? I'll just do this. I think this body's worn this dress before. It's going to be completely encased inside this sweater, so I don't think it'll show through. Oh, something with more tank top type construction would be better. I don't think I have anything. And if I do, it's probably not a solid color. Am I babbling again? Are you yelling at the computer screen because I'm babbling? Alright, we're going to stay with that. Because like I said, it should disappear completely inside this sweater. This, the more I do think that I initially made it for a really, really big doll. But it'll just be, oh, there's one of those, again, I'm ignoring all that noise outside. You're just going to get a super oversized look on this. With lint stuck all over it. Alright, you can kind of see the dress under a little at the neckline. It's fine. Layers. Away the tiny red I don't think this will work for various reasons. Not the least of which is this body's neck is tiny. Oh, well, actually, I think we've got a real chain. When I mentioned earlier that I store my stuff in torn up plastic bags, that's what I was thinking about. And do this
it's also oversized. Alright, and again, do I want to put a skirt under this? I feel like this would work with a skirt. A long skirt. I don't know if I have one of those skirts in a light pull-up size or even if I do. This is something James sent. Not at all what I was thinking of. I'm assuming it will fit this waist. If I can see the snap, everything's dark. Alright, so then we sort the layers out. Maybe, although I was thinking longer skirt, which I might turn to Barbie stuff for. That's gonna be shorter. Yeah, this this is just the bag of separates for um, roughly life size so it has shirts and pants and skirts Not really any longer. Well, that's quite the contrasting color with the. I don't know if you can tell if it's coming through clear. Kind of this is navy blue, so that could influence possible coordinating skirt colors. I'm not asking what the neighbors are doing. It's better not to. I hear a jingly cat in the hallway. during my brief chestnut and lilac color combination phase. Alright, you know what? Nothing is jumping out at me. Again, it would probably work better if I just dump everything out. Allergies have been acting up again, so my tonsils tickle, which is always fun. I 
right now I'm thinking that the outfit might be cute, but it's really not for her. So, uh, what am I going to do? I felt like maybe the other skirt was a little more suitable to her. So I'll put that one back on. And if I hear some shoes, maybe a hat. Prolong this. See, my internet upload speed is really fast. We have fiber, so it's as fast up as it is down. So once I'm done editing these videos, it really doesn't take long to upload them, even when they're long. Mainly because it's a big lump of plastic, it is cute, but but I've also shared a pattern for witch hats, so I can make witch hats. I just need to, I guess I need to actually settle down and make more witch hats in neutral colors or black or less prints. So they have more of a chance of matching other things. Again, planning ahead like that is not really my forte when it comes to making stuff. I just make and then see how it can be used afterwards. And this Bradzilla's hat is actually really badly made. The idea of it is still cute. So, I still use it sometimes. Probably now, because it does have navy. So much as the sweater. More or less. Alright, she still needs shoes. But she has regular Barbie feet. Eleanor did too, but since I put on the uh, tights, that changes it. Alright, do I have any witchy shoes? Not super inspired, but done. Camera recognizes that as a face. All right, and I've rolled just rolled over the one hour and thirty minute mark, so time to edit this and upload it, and uh, we'll do this again sometime. Thanks for watching.